Alright, hey everyone, my name is Bo New Tunisia, if you don't know that already. Um, and this is my eyebrow tutorial video. So if you want to see how I got these eyebrows, these fleeky fleek beginner eyebrows, keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing I like to do with my eyebrows, well I just started doing this and I, use, I like to take a, um, a setting powder because like I have really oily skin so to like try to like mattify my eyebrows or whatever and to make sure like they don't like get messed up during the day. So I'll take a translucent powder and put that on at first and today I'm using the Maybelline um, Master by Face Studio Fix setting powder. So I'll just dab a little bit onto my eyebrows. That wasn't supposed to happen. So I'll just dab it around my eyebrows or whatever. I'm gonna just let that sit there for a little bit so I just dance a little bit. No, I don't. <laughs> So then um, after I let it sit for a little bit, I'm not going to let it sit down long because like, I don't want it to bake on my face, especially if I'm not wearing like no foundation, but I'm wearing foundation today. But like if I'm just putting on my eyebrows, I won't let it sit that long, so then I'll just wipe it off. Boom. And then let me flip my mirror over to the other side. So then first I like to uh, like comb my eyebrows through to make sure all the hairs are in line and stuff. And today I am actually using a new um, pomade. I never heard of this company and I just needed something for this video because I hate using eyebrow pencils and that's what I've been using for like the last couple months. So today I'm using, I hope I'm saying this right. Or Delhi um, brown brow pomade, and it's in the color uh, dark brown. Um, I had used this yesterday, and I think I had used too much, and like my eyebrows look like super thick. So today I'm gonna try to not use so much. So, and it was really cool that it came like with a little spoolie and like a little angle brush. So if you don't already have one, it comes with it. I got it from Kroger's and it was like I want to say it was $4.99. If it was not $4.99 it was $3.99 but I'll check the receipt and I'll put the price down in the description box. So I'll just take a little bit and I don't some people they like to like start like at the beginning of the of their eyebrows, but I like to have like a more natural look. So like instead of like starting like all the way up here, I'll like start in the middle. So I'll just line it. And sometimes I like to extend my tail a little bit because I feel like my eyebrows are not that long, so. Just like that. And then I'll get just a little bit more to do like the top part. And like I said, I don't start at the beginning, I start in the middle, so. I'll just go right here in the middle. And then just connect it with the little tail line that I made at the bottom. And then so after I do that, I'll like Cause I try not to add so much product and so it can look like super natural. 
So I would just brush the product in and then if I feel like I need to go in with some more then I'll put a little bit more on my brush. But it's just really to your liking how you like to have your eyebrows. You like to have your eyebrows super thick. You can use more product if you like to have that faded effect in the front. Then you can just um, continue to do what I do. But it's just really just personal preference. Just to make it a little bit darker. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one and then I'll show you guys how I clean up with concealer. When I clean up my eyebrows, um, I do use concealer, and I usually use a, uh, I usually use LA Girls uh, Pro Concealer, but I ran out, so, and I couldn't, I cannot find any for my life in the area that I live in, so I brought uh, L'Oreal's uh, True Match uh, Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. Oh, excuse me. Um, I just used this yesterday too uh, when I was trying out this new pomade, and I think it works really good. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better way to use it. I don't know if I want to put it on an ankle brush or a concealer brush to. Uh, let me try to actually um, to actually like try to put it underneath my eyes. It's just gonna work. Cause I don't have a flat brush right now, so I. I believe this is a concealer brush. I told you guys, I don't know nothing about makeup for real, but <laughs> well, we're going to make it work today. So I think I got something on it. If it doesn't work, then I'll just use the actual crayon on my actual eyebrow. So then I would just, um, I'll just take the concealer. No, sis, it's not working. It's not working. Jesus. Okay. And I usually like to use a concealer that's close to my skin tone, especially like I said when I'm not wearing foundation. Or like sometimes when I do run out of concealer and I don't have the time to uh, go out and buy any. I would use my foundation <laughs> to uh, shape me to clean up my eyebrows so um, I would not advise that so don't don't do what I do don't just get a concealer about to work either oh my god it's gonna work today I know that and so then I just like to blend it out I try to get my tail as sharp as possible but I don't be trying to corroborate with me, so sometimes I should like forget it. Oh, that came out kind of nice though. And just always remember, especially for beginners, eyebrows are sisters, they are not twins, so they will never come out 
the same they will never come out the same like sometimes one of your arches might come out better than the other side and it's just you can never get both of them perfect unless like you're a master at eyebrows and if you are tell me your secret because sometimes my eyebrows don't be coming out the same but sometimes you can't tell either and if you mess up you can always go back in with um, your pomade or your pencil that you decide to use. I kind of messed up on that one so I'll just go back in with whatever's left on the little angle brush. Okay, so I think my camera died. Good thing my boyfriend's right here. So, um, I was just fading it out a little bit more and why is that hair right there? It's not supposed to be there. We just want it goody. Boom. Okay, boom. So um, and so then after I faded out a little bit, I like to go back into my tail and just make it a little bit more darker I don't know why I like my tails so dark but I just like them dark and usually your tail like this is what I've learned uh, from watching other YouTube videos your tail shouldn't go past like the edge of your eye so if it goes past the edge of your eye, then it's too long. So this one's a little bit too long. So then I would just either clean it up with my finger or I'll take whatever um, brush I was using for my concealer and just clean it up. But like I said, that's if you're trying to go for like a more natural look. If you're trying to go for a dramatic look and you want your eyebrow to go that long, do you sis? But I'm not going to do that. Okay, so then after that... Um, the last thing I like to do is I like to uh, put powder on my eyebrows and this is the Salon Perfect. Um, I've had this for a while like you can like really tell that I've been using this for quite a while now. Um, I believe I got it from Walmart if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know how much it costs but I've still put the name down in the description box so I'll just take a little bit of it. For both my eyebrows and then I'll just fill it in and this also makes sure like my eyebrows <laughs> excuse me what's going on that's also make sure my eyebrows don't move all day and it also um, fills it in a little bit more than what the pomade do um, did because I don't want my eyebrows to look too harsh and don't want it to look like I have a whole bunch of makeup on if I'm just doing it without any other makeup I should like to warm up the concealer with my finger and it usually just smooths out at the top and that's it and then like if I'm wearing like a full face of makeup I'll put highlight right underneath the bridges this that was called the bridges the arches <laughs> of my eyebrows um so that's my eyebrow routine. Um, usually don't take me this long, but because I was actually using a makeup mirror today, it took a little bit longer than expected. But I hope you guys liked it. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And follow me on all other social medias because that's where you know when um, what videos I want to put out. Or also turn on the notifications so you can know when I do upload a new video. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.